guys, Rob from the Off-Grid Tiny House. Um, today, it's a nice and toasty one out here. Got the window air conditioner on, running completely off the grid. And uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you know um, I suffered a water leak. And today we're going to be looking through one of my little EDC bags. Um, which it really wasn't an EDC because EDC means everyday carry. Uh, this was in storage under my bed, um, in case of emergencies. And that is where the water infiltration came through, underneath the bed. And so all of my uh, preparedness bags um, got drenched. And we're sitting in a pool of water, so I'm gonna unbox every single one in this series of videos to see what's been possibly damaged, mold issues, whatever. So I already opened, started opening part of this, so I'm gonna go over it with you guys for sure. And uh, we'll take a look. So what I'll do is I'll zoom the camera in a little bit better than what it is down at the table here. And I'll kind of do like a show and tell deal. Um, I'm just gonna sit down while doing this and uh, make a life a little easier. So as you can see on the outside, I have a small uh, foldable uh, solar panel. And uh, my bigger bag has a bigger foldable panel that can charge more stuff on it as well. Comes in handy if you have to charge a cell phone or anything like that, any type of USB device. But uh, let's get into the bags that I kind of pulled out here already. This is like a uh, fire starting bag. Uh, luckily, uh, I was smart enough to have all my materials in waterproof Ziploc bags um, that are sealed. So there's matchsticks in here that could have been ruined. Um, the wax I wasn't too worried about. Uh, I have crayons and candles, a couple magnesium fire starters. We have some uh, reflective material if we had to signal somebody. That stuff looks to be in fine shape, so I'll just put that aside. Another bag. Um, this one has the um, extension where you can uh, blow through it uh, to keep an ember going, um, as well as cotton balls, uh, fire starter uh, pieces that are ripped off, reflective material. We have another magnesium striker, a Bic lighter, and some uh, wax crayons that also can be used as uh, that duplicate as uh, candles so not too shabby here's another one um, hand sanitizer before the pandemic this was all purchased uh, because the benefits of hand sanitizer is well a lot of different purposes for it guys it's great for starting fires it's great for cleaning your hands cleaning wounds um, Obviously topical wounds, you don't want to be shoving hand sanitizer down in a open gash or anything. That would be horrific. Um, looks like we got waterproof matches, a patch of the, uh, pack of those. We got some fire starting material, um, magnet or uh, magnifying glass, another reflective material, and crayons yet again. Um, if you guys don't know much about crayons, uh, they got to be cray cray uh, Crayola name brand ones, but they double as candles, like I mentioned just a little bit ago. Let's see, we have a thing of honey. Honey doesn't expire. Never has, never will. So a small little thing of honey wrapped up. It's still in its container, but wrapped still in a Ziploc baggie. Um, a little pick-me-up. Honey can be used to, you know, eat it uh, medicinal, uh, get some sugar in you. Put it on wounds as a antibacterial. Um, you can also use it to start uh, roots of a plant if you're cloning. Um, so that's all kinds of good stuff there. You can use that to bait different things as well. Um, another bag here. This one has a lot of gauze and uh, medical tape, a reflective uh, reflective stickers again and inside here I believe there's uh, let's actually open it up there's a metal container in here 
and I believe I loaded this up with some uh, fire starting material and such. So, sweet. Big on the fire starting, guys. If you notice, um, there's not a lot of space in this baggie, but uh, big on fire starting because basically you can build your own shelter out in the woods um, as long as you have the tools for that. Now, this particular bag has limited tools, which may be a big mistake uh, in that case, but we'll get into it. Um, I'm just going through the main compartment pouch there. Okay, the back side here, we have a little multi-tool. Still, still that's, that's decent, but it's still not enough to uh, start building the shelter out of, out of uh, natural materials. No saw or anything there, or axe, so something to think about. This is a drug bag, so um, all kinds of different drugs, all sealed in Ziploc bags, so I didn't lose any. They need to be rotated though because they are expired uh, 2017 for a lot of these um, multivitamins um, there's all kinds of stuff but anti-diarrhea drugs everything like that has to be um, rotated out and destroyed because basically useless we got a little wind up light uh, probably way overdue Turn it off first, I guess. Charge up the little bad boy if it still works, that is. Nope. So this guy might be a dud. Uh, good to always check and go through your baggie. We have a small LED flashlight, still works. Um, just fine. Um, have a blade sharpener. Um, if you guys never seen these, sharpen your knives. Uh, 800 grit and 400 grit. Always is good to have. More crayons. Um, these I'm going to throw in one of these pouches because I think we're going crayon crazy here, guys. Um, but uh, we'll throw this in one of these pouches here. So why the crayons? Um, you're not going to be having kids with you or coloring books or anything like that. Uh, like I said, it's just a fire, uh, not a fire starting, but a fire maintaining deal. You light the, get a, get one of these going, and you're not sitting there whittling or wasting fuel on a big lighter. Once you get one of those going, they'll maintain. Um, so I have one of these uh, survival uh, uh, 550 cord uh, bracelets, built-in whistle, built-in fire starter, Temperature probe and compass. And let's see what else we got here. Open up one of the backpacks here. Aha! So we have a good pair of gloves with the, um, the rubberized hands. Nice. And is there something in this? Okay, yeah. Inside the pair of gloves, I have a cutting tool. Manual cutting tool, cutting small branches. Uh, basically, it's just a handsaw, back and forth, up or down. Um, cut through some, uh, you know, get, get some poles made for a shelter. Pretty sweet. And I think that's all that was inside the gloves. Let's check to see if there's anything else down in that baggie. Oh yes. So just wait, there's more. So inside here we have a, uh, basically just like a uh, nylon bag. And we have a handkerchief and a survival blanket. What else do we have? I think that's it. Uh, Tool-wise, we're a little bit lackluster on tools for this setup, but I am going into the final pouch. So we have just a, bo a small, thin box cutter. Looks very cheap, like a dollar store one. Um, probably not going to be useful unless you're skinning an animal or cutting some twine. So we have a little uh, waterproof uh, container here. 
with some matches and some cotton rounds in there. So always have backup uh, fire. This bag seems to be pretty heavy on fire and lackluster on tools. Compass. Um, oh. Uh, electronic lighter. Uh, still works. Show the camera. This is the ignitelighters.com. You can see that. And you just pull this down. It's USB powered. You can charge it via that solar panel. Quickly light up a piece of material. And off you go to the races. Okay, another multi-tool. Um, a knife. Another waterproof container. Matches and cotton rounds yet again. So this one seems to be a little bit overbuilt on making fire and not shelter, which is not good. Uh, another uh, just a jack jack knife or not jack knife, but just a multi knife. So this one, I in my opinion, is missing. If I cut out about half of this fire making stuff, that would give me space for some proper tools for making a shelter, which is probably pretty much most important here. I got play, way too much fire making stuff. We can uh, wind that down, get something um, together, and revamp this bag. Um, you know, uh, it's a little lackluster on cordage as well. There's a little bit, but not enough to make a decent shelter out of because there's really no shelter in this bag whatsoever. You can use the survival blanket as a little blankie to keep warm at night. Uh, no little sleeping bag, no tarp. Um, and like, like I say, lackluster on the tool department. We can dro probably drop out this flashlight. Doesn't seem to be working anymore. Um, a lot of stuff to revamp just on this bag alone, guys. So I got about three, well, two multi-tools and two knives. And, um, you know, that's okay. I could probably eliminate a multi-tool and a knife and trade up to get some kind of small axe. Um, something to make shelter with, uh, making shelter a little bit easier. One of those foldable saws would be excellent for this bag. Put, like, put it on the side, something like that. So definitely needs a revamp of this bag. So what I'm gonna do is in this series, guys, um, this bag seems to have survived sitting in water for God knows how long for you know and the water was sitting and uh, and trapped on there because water was sitting on a vinyl floor and the water doesn't really penetrate the vinyl because it's kind of like a plastic so the water would be entering these bags and my materials everything looks nice uh, nothing damaged the electronic device was uh, um, it was actually not even wrapped in a Ziploc and it survived f just fine and dandy. Still has a nice charge on it. And um, I'll probably give this a little charge as well. And uh, yeah, so with this series, guys, um, with this stuff, uh, what I'll do end up doing is throwing this in like a. Uh, I'll put all this stuff in an area and bring over the next bag unload it for you and get my ideas of how to maximize the bag make it a hell of a lot better make it make the build of the bag a hell of a lot better because this one is just way too fire centric pyro centric and lackluster on tools and shelter building which is all the things you got to do and guys you also got to think about how you're going to get water there's no water um nothing to help you here for water whatsoever um which is kind of uh a huge mistake because uh, you start going without water or water filtering devices, uh, you're done. Um, I don't care how much gear you come up with, you gotta ha you gotta be drinking water almost on a constant basis, especially on days like today. 29.6 Celsius inside, outside we're we're closing in on 40. Um, um, it's 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 40 with the humidity all day long, so. That, that's this little video guys hopefully you enjoyed we're gonna get into a lot more of these prepping videos 
because my fans have been hungry for prepping videos. They said it in the polls, they said it in the comments. I'm going to try to do more half and half. Do like a tiny house video, then a prepping, tiny house prepping, all that fun stuff. Alright, so that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next.